Hi, I'm back today to speak to you about personal experience or brief opinion presentation. Two to five minutes. So we started off with the self-introduction, which had no time limit. It was just say it as naturally as you would as if you were in a classroom. No preparation needed. And then we went right into the in the news, two to five minutes, hopefully with a prepared outline and notes, intro, body, conclusion, and you felt a little bit more control that you were in, had that content down. And then we went into the informative, four to six minutes, and that could have been a demonstration like we saw, or something that was very familiar to you, a teaching speech, then persuasion, four to six minutes, and again, like an informative presentation, but where your goal is to have an affect or an influence on your audience. And now we are at the end of the line with the final formal presentation, personal experience, brief opinion, two to five minutes. Hopefully you have gained some oral communication muscle and you have a little bit more of an understanding of what you need to do to be successful. Please keep notes with you. Please be planned and organized and thoughtful as you have been in the previous presentations. Just because this seems to be a more natural presentation where you're going to be telling us a story or a life lesson, a narrative about your life, you are the expert, that this would be easy. And many students say, well, I don't need to plan this. This will be definitely my impromptu. And then what I usually see is the nonverbal goes right down. One way of testing your own worthiness of your presentation is once you're done and before you send it on VoiceThread, watch it again, but this time shut off the volume and just look at your nonverbal. Uh, are your hands organized? Are they together with your message? Do you, uh, do you seem to be calm and confident or are you all over the place, right? Are you twirling your hair and looking all over and physically not looking comfortable or connected with your words? That is what happens oftentimes when we leave things for impromptu. You'll even see at some point in the presentation that deer in a headlight look like startled because you're not sure where your brain is gonna go for the next word. So to eliminate all that stress, please be planned and be prepared and be thoughtful and be logical and keep good pacing. The topic you choose, as always, is up to you. It's what you choose to share, but it could be a life experience. It could be a funny story, something embarrassing. It could be something that happened this morning or something that happened when you were a child. That would be a memoir, a memory you have. Make sure whoever you're sharing the information about is giving you permission if it involves your family or friends, that sort of thing, right? Now, if you do not want to do a personal um, experience presentation, and oh, and you might have already written one of these as a narrative as in an essay, and then shake that out and put that into a prepared outline or notes and then deliver it. Okay, do a brief opinion. And a brief opinion, when I was a student, was called the pet peeve speech, like something you want to just shout out about, you have an opinion about, and you don't have to do any research. It's purely just your own conjecture and your own opinion. And usually it's something that you have some energy for or something that's upset you, but you just want to say a few words. Maybe it's the high cost of education or maybe it's the lack of opportunity around here for professional jobs. You get your bachelor's degree and even your master's and you have to start in professions where you're starting entry level and you're looking for more, much more of a start in life. So either a personal experience, two to five minutes of your choice, or a brief opinion. So it's one more speech, but take the time to work on your nonverbal. Take the time to always prepare. Do not leave these speeches to chance. And I know that feeling. You think, I know this so well, I do not need to prepare. And if you're going to do a one and done video, which I'm not opposed to because it doesn't have to be perfect, watch yourself afterwards. Is this what you want to present to the class? Does this make you proud? Does this seem like you are learning something 
and that you are going to feel even more confident in the future to do any presentation because you've learned some good best practices that serve you. I always wish the best for my students and this is the six week class so it's been going by so fast. This may be your last time to do a video if you choose because the final exam which I will explain in another video gives you a choice. You can write out your answers or do a video presentation. So this might be your final one for personal experience brief opinion or it may be not your final one. In any case, I've enjoyed watching these so much and I, I know you get it. I, some, so, sometimes students write back to me and say, you really are enjoying these videos. I said, it, it just warms my heart because this is not an easy assignment or an easy class to take. It's a lot of independent work. There's a leap of faith. Whatever mindset you had coming into this class about public speaking, you have to be open to a new experience and new ideas and really work on your skills. Whatever skills you come in with are great and some of us have more skills than others just by our personalities or by our own experiences. So, but it doesn't matter. You're not compared with anyone else but yourself. Have you advanced? Do you feel like you have a little bit more of a handle on things? Are you able to manage things a little bit better now than perhaps you did before you took the class? And let's hope the answer is mm-hmm. <laughs> I think so. All right, I hope you're having a good day. And this is Joyce Fernandes, and I will see you soon on some video. You know, you know this isn't the final video. Take care of yourselves and each other.